What's up, Life Groups? It's so great to be with you guys and just thinking about all that God has done. Yeah. I know in my life group, and I would For imagine sure. over the last eight weeks with the group of friends that you're sitting with right now. Maybe you're on Zoom or maybe you're in a house or maybe you're in a backyard watching this on the TV or, or something. But yeah. man, over the last eight weeks, you've committed to number one, meeting with the group of people that you're with. So you should have stronger friendships and maybe even maybe even call them spiritual family, <laughs> koinonia. Uh, but also you've been reading one chapter a day of The Purpose Driven Life. and Or maybe you haven't been reading one chapter a day. Maybe you're like me and you missed quite a few <laughs> of those chapters. But this is an encouragement and a reminder to myself to go back and catch up yeah. on those ones. But uh, you did it. You made it all the way to the end. Here we are. And rather than doing a sermon summary, um, by the way, I think our guy did an incredible job this weekend, did he not? teaching on Jude. And I can't wait to preach this weekend because that just made me more excited when I heard all that you were teaching. So, um, but I would say this, rather than just doing a sermon recap, we want to actually talk a little bit about communion because yeah. that's how we're going to end the semester together. In the early church, when they participated in the Eucharist, that's how they did it. They did it in homes and they did it over meals. And so when this video is over, press pause uh, and get your stuff ready. Or maybe your life group leaders already had that yeah. prepared for you. You know, at the end of Jesus's life in Luke 22, he was encouraging his followers, which was essentially like a life group. It was like 12 people yeah. who were meeting together on a regular basis. And he said, he said they were meeting together and then he took a cup of wine, Luke 22, 17 says, then he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. He said, take this and share it amongst yourselves for I will not drink wine again until the kingdom of God has come. He's, he took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it in pieces and gave it to the disciples saying, this is my body which was given to you, do this in remembrance of me. I just wanna encourage you wherever your life group's at right now, maybe you don't have grape juice and crackers, maybe you don't have anything, but what communion's really about is it's not about the, what type of juice you have, it's not about the crackers that your life group is eating, it's about pausing and taking a moment to remember who Jesus is and what he did for us. It's a moment, it's, that's really what worship is. It's taking a moment to pause, looking back to what Jesus has done and that should not only encourage and motivate us for what he's going to continue to do because God's faithful, but it should, it should just posture our hearts to be with Jesus in our community, just like the disciples were in the early church. So just remember those words as you're doing this with your life group. Do this in remembrance of me. It's not about the special crackers. It's not about the special juice or this holy moment. It's just being with Jesus, remembering who he is and really what that means for for us. I mean, I, it's important because I think a lot of people think that they can get this wrong. Yeah. And I would just say it's kind of hard to get communion for sure. wrong if you do that, you yeah. know, if you're, if you're remembering Jesus. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go around in a circle or go around on your Zoom boxes. And I want you to take a moment and share a special memory that you have over the last eight weeks. Yeah. Maybe that was something that you applied from your life through the reading, or maybe that was something that happened with a friend that you made in group. But talk about something where God has been faithful. Remember Jesus in one of the moments during life group. Mm -hmm. Just say, hey, I remember when, when so-and-so spoke into my life and they said this and I really took that to heart. And yeah. as a result, I actually put that into action and I grew closer to God. Hey, I remember when we were talking about growing closer in, 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 as a spiritual family and, and, and I did that. I opened up my heart more. And so I just want to say I'm thankful for so-and-so in this group because I have a real friend now or... Um, I, I remember that when I was challenged on this step of obedience and I did that and that that right there honors God. Yeah. That's what honors God. The other thing I want you to do is I want you to talk about next semester. So this is the last week and then you have all of April off. Wow. I know everyone's going to go, oh, I want to see my friends and I get it. Well, give your life group host some time off. Give your leader some time off. Yep. We're going to have all of April off. Then we're going to come back strong in May and talk with your leader tonight and let's make sure that we solidify that, whether that's For the sure. same time, maybe you were on Zoom and now you wanna be in person or maybe uh, you're gonna keep going on Zoom, but that is, uh, that's the plan is that we're gonna take a, a month off and then we'll come back in May for another eight week semester for a new series that's kicking off on Easter called Nothing Wasted. We'll be studying the life of Joseph and it will wow. be awesome to go through his, his whole story together as a group. And so that's it. Would you pray for them as they, as, uh, they kind of head into this, this time of, of communion? Yeah. God, I pray that we would just remember your encouragement of just doing this in remembrance of you, that it's not this ritual, it's not a task that we have to do, it's an invitation to be with you because that's who you are. You're a loving father who wants to be with his kids, God. So I pray that we would just take this moment in our life groups to reflect on who you've been 
active in our lives during this semester, the relationships that have been built, because when we look back to who you've been and what you've done, it'll encourage us for what you're gonna continue to do because you're a God who loves to show up in our life and you're faithful and you're good. God, we just wanna remember who you are and remember what's happened in these groups. So just like we're getting ready to talk about, none of it will be wasted. We love you and it's in your name we pray, amen.